we're starting to end our current heat wave right now. And compared to last year, yeah, it's hot. But last year was deadly, nearly 100 heat-related deaths when that temperature reached 116 degrees. So not as hot, but still dangerously hot. Today, we did check with Multnomah and other metro area counties, along with Clark and Marion counties. So far, thankfully, no heat-related deaths. Let's get to our Lisa Balick joining us live tonight. Lisa, so now one thing to add to this is there are at least more targeted efforts to help people stay cool. Yes, basically city and county leaders after what happened last summer vowed to do much better this summer. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, you want me to go? Yeah. It's hard work on a hot day lugging air conditioning units upstairs. <laughs> but they're also delivering on a promise. City and county leaders vowed to do better to help low income people try and survive sweltering heat after almost 75 died in Portland during the heat wave this time a year ago. We are prioritizing uh, uh, elderly people with health uh, respiratory conditions. Portland and Multnomah County, along with nonprofits, are getting air conditioners out to low-income people. We caught up with their efforts in the Cully neighborhood, done by Verde, a nonprofit, helping install units paid for by the city's Clean Energy Community Fund. More than 7,000 units this year expected to be installed. Multnomah County's recent report on the deaths last summer named lack of air conditioning as one of the biggest factors. I talked with a mom of three who had tried before to use a broken unit she had found. Um, last year was really hot, and since I collect cans going out um, in the neighborhood, and I saw one they were giving up for free, and I brought it home, but it didn't, it didn't work that much, so it didn't help a lot. The units right now are going to those most in need who apply through local nonprofits. I spoke with a man who has medical issues and lived with just a fan in the sweltering apartment through the heat last year. Um, it will um, keep us cool and not dehydrated. Verity Central City Concern and the African American Alliance for Home Ownership are among organizations taking applications for the units. Portland's stepping up in other ways. More cooling centers across the city opened up. Blanche House providing water and meals, taking water donations from the community. But remember, summer has just started. And one thing when we were out today, we saw a lot of places where it is brutally hot that maybe a second floor, a third floor, no air conditioning units. And again, the city taking a little bit of time to get some of these units out. So if you have an extra unit, it might be worthwhile calling a nonprofit, see if you can donate it and get it in somebody's hands who needs it this summer. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.